Hey everybody, it's Melanie coming to you from the Outer Banks, North Carolina, and this is where my family and I are currently living, um, and it's just the downstairs part, and I've moved my plants around so they can get some sunlight because the sun is shifting um, in the sky, as we know, and always moving and changing, so... Um, it's been a long time. I'm really nervous actually coming on here, but I've been guided to for a while. So I wanted to finally take that leap and do it. Um, I am still the holistic nurse and people are still finding me for assistance on this path and on this journey and often related to medical questions. So I am here to help you all on this um, pathway and on this journey and we are all souls living in a human experience um, we are not who we think we are we are something so much bigger and grander and amazing -er than that um, excuse my language <laughs> um, it's been probably a year and a half since I've posted anything with this channel and I noticed that there's more and more followers and thank you for following on this journey um, and it's been a journey so I don't I don't think this video is gonna be the video that I share everything that's happened I'm more than happy to do that down the road but right now um, the themes that are coming up within the collective is um, people are often coming to me in regards to their health and how they can improve their health and what they can do to feel physically better. So I guess that's what this video is going to be about today. Um, and if you've been following my channel, you know that the biggest improvement to our health is to go to a whole foods plant-based diet. Um, if you can take it to a, a raw fruitarian diet, I truly believe in that. But I also believe in finding optimal health. You can't do that by just dieting. Oftentimes people do go vegan and they go to this whole foods plant-based lifestyle. But then they're holding stress in other parts of their body and blaming the diet for what's actually going on that's out of balance mentally and emotionally as well as physically because there are detox symptoms to changing um the best thing that you can do for yourself is to go as far in that direction as possible and if you choose to eat meat and if you choose to eat fish only do it on occasion um same with dairy but dude you're like an adult most likely watching this channel and why are you drinking breast milk? It's so old news. <laughs> um, cow's breast milk is intended for baby calves, and there are a lot of properties within all breast milk to create it as an addiction almost. Um, it releases oxytocin and other feel-good hormones, not only for mom, but also for baby while it's happening. And that keeps both of them coming back. Um, to keep doing it in the hopes to continue procreation and the growing process after procreation. Um, it's instinctual. And so as babies, they become kind of addicted to the mother's scent, the breast milk that's coming out, the taste, everything, because and that's intended to keep them coming back so they don't starve. It does the same thing for baby cows. And so then you're drinking something meant for an animal that's a baby cow comes out and it's 60 pounds and a baby human comes out and it's eight to 10 pounds. And that's one sixth of the size of a cow. So drinking cow's milk is then going to be so much more addictive since you're a smaller being in comparison to what it's meant to feed. Um, so getting your health straight, quit dairy. Do, just do it. It's not worth it. Um, I don't really eat the ch cheese alternatives because they're not really healthy either. Um, that part of the vegan lifestyle is not healthy. It is really bad for your body. And I am very strict with my children as to how much of that they can enjoy because I want to keep them in optimal physical health as much as possible. So 
we do eat the vegan junk food on occasion, but it's really on occasion and um, it's meant to be, that's in moderation. When it comes to eating meat, um, always recognize that you're eating dead food. It, in processed food is dead food, but meat especially was an animal and then was killed and now is dead on your plate. And so energy never dies. Energy is only transmuted and transformed, but it never dies. And so when you ingest that deadness, you are ingesting that energy of death. So you are what you eat and you will then start to exhibit symptoms to prepare you for death eventually. And it can come quickly depending on who you are, what soul journey you chose and um, how healthy or unhealthy your body is. But all of the disease and sickness and illness that we're seeing, especially now with this whole coronavirus thing, this is what, February, February 3rd, 2020, um, everything that's happening with this coronavirus, all of this could have been prevented and it all comes from eating animals. So we need to start learning our lesson. We need to recognize that we, we can't be doing this anymore and that eating animals is causing the demise of the human race. Um, in so many ways, shapes, and form. It's killing the environment. It's killing us. It's great. It's a party. There's Mel's humor. Um, so the first thing to get yourself on track, the first thing to get you moving forward in a direction that is going to improve any part of your lifestyle is going to be get your health in check. And if you're already on a vegan, whole foods, plant-based diet, and you're still feeling off, I encourage you to check in with your inner self about your emotional, spiritual, and mental status. So um, everything about us is about balance and finding that true balance deep within the core. And so people that go off on these diet ventures, they lose all of this weight and it's phenomenal, but they never worked on the person in here. They never worked on the inner child that was broken in the past, causing them to overeat in the first place. And so that will continue to, you will continue to revisit the same binge eating, the same addictive process because you haven't healed what's inside. So that process is a long process and it takes that time of stepping away stepping away from everything that you've always known to be true, um, quitting the patterns that got you to who you are at this moment in time, figuring out how to rearrange who you are and kind of fit it back together as a person. And you can't do that. You can't do that if you're doing it, trying to be somebody else for someone else. And that could be your parents. That could be a loved one. That could be a friend. It doesn't matter. Um, on this journey, you lose friends, you lose family members, you lose relationships. But finally you get to a place and you recognize that everything that changed and everything that transformed was for your higher good anyways. And you wouldn't be who you are on, in this moment, in this time, if you hadn't gone through what you went through change hurts and change is painful and change is really scary, especially when you've lived a certain way your entire life and you've known nothing else. And all of a sudden the universe is asking you to change and be somebody completely different. It's scary and it's overwhelming. And I'm currently experiencing it right along with you guys. Um, and that's a whole nother story. Whenever I'm talking in these videos, it's because I'm currently experiencing what I'm talking about. And, um, we're all learning the same lessons, the same, the same, the same collective lessons. It's just different based on each individual reality and it's meant to, it's all our individual stories. It's you're writing a book and you can make it whatever you want it to be. It's a phenomenal journey. And let me tell you, like I've been through it. <laughs> so, um, I have an Instagram page that I've, really focused on since stopping the holistic nurse channel and it's called naked lady mandalas at in facebook and instagram um i started painting mandalas uh mandalas mandalas i don't know how you say it and i don't think it matters but i started painting and drawing mandalas um back in october of 2017 and that was a year to the day that i quit my bipolar medication um and had been bipolar and med-free for an entire year. 
including Tylenol and Motrin, man. Like, I quit it all. And I started this journey of drawing and painting. My little squirrel friends are saying hi. <laughs> if you can hear that. Um, I started this journey of painting and drawing and now have morphed into a mandala art teacher. Um, I have transformed my life to be much more meditative and quiet and peaceful and I'm really happy and people are finding me through me even hiding like I really stay in hiding I don't go out because um, I'm comfortable here but I've been urged to get on out and now people are finding me to help them on their journey so I knew it was time to kind of awaken back into the role of the holistic nurse so fixing our physical state that happens by fixing what we're ingesting fixing our mental emotional and spiritual state that happens by getting quiet getting by yourself finding that time to actually listen and sit with your thoughts and if your mind's racing who cares just being peaceful and taking in what nature has to offer because it's a whole lot i'm sitting in my backyard and there's um seedlings coming out and i noticed the seed that was on top and i can't find it now but the seed capsule on top is a sunflower seed. And I was like, gosh, there's so much life here. And it just happens. Like, I didn't even do anything. I threw out some bird seed for the birds. And now I've got flowers growing. So these plants, um, I go to Home Depot and Lowe's and I buy the cheapest plants that they have <laughs> that are like discounted and dying and I bring them back to life. So this was um, roses. I've got some oregano, and I'm working on my gardenias, but I think I have to change my soil. So all of the things to change in your life would be meditation, um, finding a yoga practice. It's prayer for me now to do yoga, and I feel better doing it. And there are some days that I'm like, I don't want to do it, and I'm not going to do it, and I don't. And then the next day I'm like, yeah, I kind of need this in my life. I don't feel as good right now not not doing the yoga. So uh, I'm actually on my yoga mat right now. Whee! Um, so yeah, in order to transform, you gotta change the energy that you're consuming. That goes for like media and television. Um, watch what you're listening to because it's gonna change your energy. Positivity, love, light vibes are always good. Listening to people like me, light workers and ascension people on YouTube. Um, my favorites have always been Infinite Waters. Infinite Waters, diving deep once again. He's changed millions of lives and he could change yours too if you let him. Um, Victor Odo, he's rocking awesome. Kalina Malnar, she does light language and that's way out there. But if you're really interested in this pathway, it's totally worth it, man. It changed my life. Um, and I, um, Amanda Ellis, those have been my, my people. I'm their groupie kind of and watch them on the YouTube. Um, the messages that they have are very uplifting and very positive and very helpful on the spiritual journey. The most important thing in changing your life and transforming yourself, I guess, would be to, like, want it. You, If you don't want to change, you don't have to change. Like, you can stay the same and do whatever you want and feel miserable. Or... <laughs> If you're watching this video, it's probably a message because you're supposed to be doing something more with your life and bringing light and happiness and positivity to others. So, you know, it's up to you to change. Um, I'm glad I chose this pathway. It was hard. It was really scary. It was really painful. And facing my darkest parts was out of this world. But it was worth every second and I'm really happy with where I am at today. So, um, I was going to show you some of the artwork I've been doing. So this is one of my mandala discs. Um, I paint the back and I write a spiritual message to go along with it. 
Um, that's Naked Lady Mandalas. This is a 12 inch disc. Um, every single one is totally unique, completely different, all hand drawn, hand painted. Um, I can work with guide circles or without. I use paint brushes, dotting tools, um, depending on what I'm feeling like. This is an in-process one now that I'm working on. Um, but every single one is filled with positivity, love, light, and happiness, because that's where I'm living. And if I'm not feeling in that energy when I start one, I sure am in five or ten minutes. Um, the process of mandalas is very meditative and very healing and um, has healed me emotionally, mentally, and maybe physically, but definitely emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. I spent a lot of time doing these, a lot of time quiet. Um, and it just it's changed my life. I paint wall murals. If anyone around the world wants a Naked Lady Mandala's wall mural, you just let me know. Um, yeah, so that's my life now. Um, I'm going to get on here and talk more with you guys and share with what I'm going through. And I actually, right now, I'm just going to sit and do the next video um, talking about tower moments. So if you want to check into that one, rock on. Um, thanks for stopping by. If you like the content, hit the like button. If you like it a lot, share it and spread the message. Um, I'm here to share my journey. I'm here to speak about how you can transform your life. And I'm here to just spread, spread the love. I used to be the grumpiest person. People used to ask me, Melanie, why are you always looking like this? And I was like, because I fucking feel like shit inside. <laughs> I don't feel good ever. And now um, I look like this a little bit when the sun is peeking through the trees. But hoping you guys all have an awesome day. Peace. Lots of love. Oh, my elbow. And namaste. Adios.